Hello everyone welcome to Khatri 3D in this video we will finally be doing UV unwrapping of this character this is by no means production ready model as you can see I have only sculpted half of the body so for the UV mapping I won't be doing it manually I will be using a quick and dirty way which is a Z plugin called UV master this plugin ships default with Z brush and it can make your UV mapping process so faster that I will tell you in few minutes your character will be UV mapped and you won't have to do any manual UV mapping with this character. The only purpose of this workflow I am telling you this that this workflow is based on about quickly bringing your ZBrush models into other 3D softwares like Blender or Substance Painter so you could texture them. So hang on tight and let's continue. Now then I will use polygroups to UV map. And how will I do it? If you click on this Z plugin, you will see a Z plugin called UV Master. I will just dock the Z plugin which I have already did here and just open the UV Master. Okay, there are a few options there and the most important is work on clone. What it does that it will bring all your, it will bring the selected sub tool. For example, this is the apparel. Okay, it will make a new file which having no subdivision levels for example if i open geometry it has three subdivision levels and what it does that it will make a clone if i click on it work on clone it will make a clone and made as a separate file with no subdivision levels so we can just polygroup uh, uv map this model really quickly and copy uvs from this model to the original the original model is here okay and the clone model is here this is a very non-destructive way to uv map using this plugin because if you have geometry uh, multiple subdivisions there are several problems you can have because you would have to freeze the subdivision levels or you wouldn't have to mark it uh, mark the scenes using the model tool so this is why uh, if you are uv mapping no subdivision levels is preferred okay and for that they have made this option here it just Duplicate the mesh, delete the subdivision level so you can UV map it, then copy UVs and paste it into the another. I hope you understand it. So if I press Shift F, I have already polygroups on my model. And uh, this happens when you are using a Z modeler tool to extrude the elements. If I haven't had the polygroups, I would have to do it manually. So I will turn this symmetry off and turn polygroups on. Now it will detect the polygroups as seams and UV map it. It is as fast as innovative. For example, I will just click it, UV unwrap and it will just process it and you're done. I want to check the UVs, click on this flat, flatten and it just uh, flattened the whole mesh and showing you UVs. Now this type of stretching is not permissible if you are using a production ready model for the production ready model you would have to be very precise with how your uvs are okay but this is not a production uh, ready uh, workflow we are just doing it the fastest way the dirty way so uv mapped it now i will click on this copy uvs and go back to my original mesh with multiple subdivision and i can just paste uvs click paste uvs and here it is the uvs are pasted and you cannot use the flatten here okay if i click it it will say that the model has a multiple subdivision levels or you would need to go to the work on clone feature but uh, to check the uv map in this condition with multiple subdivision go down click on this uv map and click on this move target okay and it will just exactly show you uvs how it's supposed to be because we have copy pasted the uvs all right now i will do these same steps again and again and i will click on these hair parts and uh, hair parts and the teeth and just go again click on work on clone so we have the duplicate mesh here now this mesh has polygroups but not uh, this two polygroups on a single mesh okay so let's see how it's uh, do the uv mapping if your mesh is not divided with two polygroups and i will just click it unwrap the polygroup it also selected just click unwrap and it will take a time and just uv map it 
I will flatten it and it did a great job all right it did a great job and uh, mostly these parts are smaller so i wouldn't have to worry about making them really good uvs especially the teeth will be white and the hairs will be yellow nothing too crazy nothing too fancy so i will just let it go this time but sometimes you would have to personally uh, divide the parts to uvs if the part is bigger and will be visible into your render so i will unflatten it copy uvs go back to the original sub tool and paste uvs and just like that your mesh has multiple subdivision levels i will choose the eyes i will click on this r icon again so that it resets the uh, palette now we have only the original sub tool i will go back work on clone now that this is a tricky part not tricky but you have to be very careful how you uh, UV map the eyes even if you're going the dirty way the fastest way because the previously we UV unwrapped the hairs and uh, which was really quick but for this what I will do is I will just mask it out I will turn on the symmetry and just mask it out and mask it out here and just press ctrl w to give this mask part and separate polygroup okay I will click shift ctrl shift tap and control shift tab to isolate this part again now this has really clean topology at least z mesh topology and uh, i will just use z modeler tool you don't have to z use z modeler tool if you are not familiar with it but i will use it i will hit alt q and click on skip this note until next star remember this only happens if your dynamic is turned off otherwise it won't make this message which won't come to you so i will hold alt using the Z modeler tool and it will give the white polygroups okay the white polygroups here and the white polygroups here all right now I will and uh, isolate let's see I don't have to isolate it and the part is already has subdivi uh, multiple polygroups I will just click the UV unwrap and it will use those polygroups and will give us a really good UV texture map all right so this is why I marked the polygroup manually because I needed that two separations okay now this is a problem if you are going for a, a render which will be visible through the naked eyes but i think this part is will be hidden onto our mesh so you do have to be careful what parts will be visible onto your mesh or not because if you are prepared then it will be a really work less work later okay i will copy uvs and go back again here and paste uvs and this is it this is how easy it is to uv map the character in zbrush now for the important part okay we have already did three and one remaining which is the body now i will show you a really quick trick and it is a very interesting one so watch and listen carefully click on work alone as usual and i will show you some few other features which i really like a lot all right now then for the tongue before i show you the uh, feature let's polygroup this part really quick the tongue i want to have some control over to the tongue i will show you this feature in a while please wait okay i will just mask it out this and control w now then we have the polygroup here uh, i can do is we this character has already has uh, really good polygroups all i can do is just hit unwrap but i will show you a really quick uh, feature this plugin has which is enable control painting what it does that if you enabled it all right i want to hide the tongue for now if you enable it and click on this protect now if you click on it the brush will be selected the paint brush and it will let you paint the redness okay so the tongue is uh, the exceptional let's see if I, I can hide the tongue erase i'll click on erase and just quickly erase it 
okay because we already have the let's see how it goes now i will just paint the protect and just paint this part here what this does that it will protect from the visible seams and calculate accordingly while uv mapping hope i make it sound right for example i will tell the z brush using this plugin that you need to pre have to preserve this part no available seams need to be have on this part because face usually uh, having a seam on a face usually are not good idea the face can be visible if you are not using substance painter the substance painter has many tricks uh, which can make visible seams go away but uh, usually the practice is that the face doesn't need to don't need to have the visible seams so this feature will let me keep this part safe no visible seams will be on this part and this works well most of the time i will just paint out the air also and here also let's see how it does now we have polygroups also turned on and enable control painting also turned on and the ears and the head is mask with protect is poly painted with red which means protect okay let's see how both this works and i will click unwrap let's see it has unwrapped it on a few took a few uh, took a few seconds and i will flatten it okay now i can see that uh, if i unflatten it and go back to uv mapping and click more uv so it ignored okay it ignored and let's do this again okay either it will use the enable painting or it will use the polygroups if i turn polygroups off and let's see okay i cannot undo it and uh, i need to have polygroups off and i will just con hit ctrl w hit shift f and click ctrl w to give it a single polygroup now i will do the and uh, protect again i will use this feature again we have already uh, the face and uh, the from the last time all right and it has saved the face uh, let's see after removing the polygroups how it does the unwrapping process i want to show you this feature okay uh, the other option could also work but i want to show you this feature how it works let's see flatten okay now now this worked all right and this is a really not a good way to uh, uv map of course but uh, what it did that it uh, preserved the face and just uv map the whole thing all right if i click on this uh, morph uv you could see that uh, it didn't did a very good job let's say and uh, sometimes it works sometimes it not and it is not working good really good at this case maybe if i mask and poly give polygroups manually for example it will work now i will just it really took a lot of time okay and uh, i don't like it the video will be bigger now that i have given a separate polygroups this time i have my control over this mesh let's see how it will bring us the result i will just go up and click unwrap and this time sorry again i made a mistake here which was i forgot to turn the polygroups off i will disable control painting and uh, hit polygroups and click unwrap i will just flatten it to see well it works okay the topology is less stretchy compared to the last lab the last time the model had too many polygroups so this control painting i wanted to show you sometime it works flawlessly but sometime as of today it didn't work well so keep an eye on it on this feature and do try it on different meshes okay maybe i had to just paint the other part else as well but uh, for me the polygroup process was faster at least for this video so i will copy uvs and uh, just go back to the original mesh and paste uvs 
and I will just use the morph UV. You don't have to use morph UVs all the time. I just check the mesh. If I, uh, for example, uh, checking that if I have made it, uh, if I haven't made any mistake or not. So guys, this is it. I have these four parts UV mapped, and it took a really short amount of time. It would have gotten a lot shorter, but we were stressing out because of that enable control painting. And uh, this is the quick and dirty way to UV map in ZBrush. And you could also you could just bring this model directly into Substance Painter, uh, or you could just go bring this model in Blender. And I will just do that in the next video. I will texture paint this character. I will show you uh, how I use Blender and uh, Substance Painter. I will show you how. I import these meshes in Blender and I will use some tweaks. Alright, I will give the materials a different name before switching it to Substance Painter. These steps uh, saves a lot of time and it took me a really uh, heavy amount of time to learn that. And I will just show you that. I will bring this model into the Blender before Substance Painter. We will also be exporting the high poly mesh as well. So I will show you this process before taking this guy in Substance Painter. So guys, this is it. I hope you liked the video. If you did, please leave a like and please comment. Let me know how I'm making these tutorials and uh, do I need to change the way of speaking or the way of teaching or this is all right. So guys take care please and I will see you on the next video. Goodbye.